let us survive the season yeah. without all the issues the that we yeah. have yeah. with the players that need to go, the staff that need to go, the building, the ownership. There's so much going on in United mm. that let us just stabilize for one year. Fulham now, my United won at Craven Cottage. In the grand scheme of things, it's a massive, massive win for United. It takes a little bit off um, the manager's shoulders in terms of pressure. It's one of those games where you just get three points and move on because the game didn't have a lot in it at the end of the day. Um, you know, a win is a win. And we take a win. We didn't play great again. Terrible performance from the team in general. The midfield is in disarray. Defense was okay. Onana had one save that was, you know, a good save. The other one he did, it was a save, but questionable again mm -hmm. with his ball handling. Um, Hoyland not getting any service is a terrible time for him so far playing. But again, even though Bruno had a bad game, it's the same reason you can't take him out. He has those moments. He delivered as the captain should in the moment he had to. And... I'm happy we won. That's it. Yeah. Another day for Ten Hag to live again and think about it. And um, I still think he's the right man for the job. I see. I think he sees out the season at least. That's the least we can give him. And then see how that goes. Listen, so you say he's the right man for the job, but you, there's no identity. There's no style of football. Um, do you think that's, that's uh, uh, predicated on, on the players that he has? Or do you think... They're just not playing for him because for me, it looks like he's lost the dressing room. A lot of 50 50 challenges are not being won. He looks like someone like Anthony comes on, no, no, no spark, no going at players for a wide player. I mean, Garnacho and Palistri were, were better than him. I mean, they've got to be knocking at the manager's door saying, Why am I not starting instead of Anthony? Um, I agree. I think Anthony should be dropped. I also believe that if you look at it objectively, you have to understand, like, Certain players have certain expectations on them. For example, like Anthony. Someone like Pellistri is coming in. He just, he wants the job. So there's a different hunger that comes from that. Also, every mistake that they, the players make are very much scrutinized. So it, there's a lot of mental game that is behind the scenes that I believe needs to be corrected. Mm. But as, as long as they can draw some wins together, I think things will improve. Just... We need a run. Mm. We need like a three, four game run where we're not losing every other game after we win something. And let's see what happens. Yeah. Let, let's talk about Marcus Rashford. Rashford, um, apparent injury, traveled all the way down from Manchester to London to, to, to sit on the sidelines. Do, do you make more of um, him going out um, after the main Man City loss? Or do you think it's just routine for footballers to go out on their birthdays? Apparently, it was his birthday last week, last Sunday. Sunday is a weird day to go out for it. <laughs> on your birthday, irrespective of your birthday. Some people have different opinions in the studio. Um, it's his birthday. Let him go out. It's not a big deal. Um, I think maybe he shouldn't have stayed long, as long as he did out. Or maybe from the reports that are coming out, he stayed out all night. But it's his birthday. It's not a big deal. Life doesn't stop because... Do you think he's injured, genuinely? Um, yeah, I think genuinely he might be injured. I would say Ten Hag is the kind of coach that would... One, if he dropped Rashford, he wouldn't want to drop Rashford just because of the story behind the narrative that would be that we dropped Rashford again. Mm -hmm. And then if we won this game, the fact that he dropped Rashford and Ganacho played decent, there would be a lot of conversations about mm -hmm. he needs to be dropped, all those things. And I think that we just don't need more drama. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of circus that, that, yeah. that that's occurred whilst he's been at the football club. Obviously, you go back to Ronaldo, the first Rashford incident, Maguire stripping him of the captaincy, and then Jaden Sancho. You guys just need to concentrate on football and obviously the ownership right. the most important thing but as it seems it, you just, just need to focus on football and football only we just need to yeah. win games yeah. if we can put in a run like I said things will look different there will be a little bit of confidence coming in this game I'm glad we won next game we can win that yeah. because there's, that's a massive game yeah it's a massive yeah. game it's pretty much a easier run than we've had since the season started I think we have like four games with teams that are at least mm, mm. loyal to comparison to us as well um, in terms of quality. Mm. Let's see what happens. Mm. If, we, if we're at the end of those four-game stretch, 
we already won one. If we can win th- two, three out of those, especially the one in Champions mm-hmm. League next week, the midweek, yeah. then I think we're having a better chance. This is a massive, massive, massive result in terms of, you know, top four. You're on 18 points now, touching distance within yourselves and the top four teams. Um, you know, onward, onward and upwards in, in terms of where my United go. Um, and in your opinion, does this change your aspirations for the season in terms of where you want to finish? Yeah, it's one game. Let's everybody relax. <laughs> it's not that nothing has really changed. We still lost three nil, and three nil back to back. I just think we need to stop the bleeding. Mm. Let's figure out what the what's happening after that happens. Mm. Let's get some runs in, see what's going on. The season right now should now we shouldn't have any other expiration than stay afloat, mm. basically. Mm. And any other fan that is thinking that we're top four, of those hopes. Just let it go. Don't worry, they're here. Yes. There's one I'm about to interview now. They're here. They're here. Yes, just let it go. Yeah. Let us survive the season. Yeah. Weed out all the issues mm-hmm. that we yeah. have yeah. with the players that need to go, the staff that need to go, the building, the ownership. There's so much going on in United mm. that let us just stabilize for one year and then figure out what's going on. Cheers, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you.